welcome to my channel today I am going to be making some ranch baked pork chops um, super simple very easy recipe dinner will be done in minutes um, and I'm also gonna have some scalloped potatoes on the side and I wanted to mention that all of my ingredients are from Aldi my favorite place and I'm gonna show you guys how I make my ranch baked pork chops. So if you're interested, keep on watching, stay tuned, and watch how we get this done. Okay, so I have two packs of the center cork cut pork chops. These are boneless pork chops. And I have two packs of these, so I'm gonna be making six in total. I have my ranch salad dressing and season mix, some paprika, black pepper, and kosher salt. And then I'm also going to be doing some of these um, scalloped potatoes on the side. Okay, those are all my ingredients for my dinner. Not much, but it's going to be so, so good. Okay, so I have my pork chops in a large bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings and ingredients before we pop these in the oven. So first I'm gonna be using a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And we're just gonna drizzle some of that on there. That looks good. Um, and then of course, black pepper. Sprinkle that in there. Make sure we get quite a bit in there because we will be mixing these to make sure we don't have one side seasoned and one side not seasoned. And then we have paprika we're gonna go in with. Sprinkle some of that on there as well. Um, I don't think paprika has a taste. I think it's just for color, but I like to use it on my meats. So we have that and then we're gonna go in with some kosher salt. And it may seem like I'm using a lot of salt, but this is kosher salt, so it's not super salty as like a regular iodine, iodine salt would be. And then last but not least, our ranch season pack. So we're gonna use the entire pack for these. I'm just gonna use half, and then I'm gonna stir them up a bit and put the rest of it in there. So I'm gonna give these a toss. I don't think I can, you know, I'm flip them over. Make sure that everything is incorporated. So I'm gonna just turn them over for now so I can get the rest of the ranch on there and then I'll really go in and mix it very well. So we're gonna put the rest of that on the back of the pork chops. Okay. And I'm gonna mix this up very well and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like before we pop them in the oven. Okay, so I have mixed the pork chops really well to make sure the season is on both sides of the meat. Looks good. I've lined my pan, so I'm just gonna lay them in here the best I can. No rhyme or reason to the way I'm doing this. I'm just getting them in there. And also, I um, have my oven preheated to 450. And I'm gonna um, cook these uncovered for about 20 minutes until they are done and looking nice and crisp. I don't wanna cover them because I don't want to have them be too moisturized. I don't want like a lot of liquid in my pork chops. And if you cover it, you know, the steam and juices don't have a way to release. So it's best to cover it if you don't want to have, you know, juicy pork chops. I want them to be more like boiled, grilled, like. Okay. So those are in there. I'm just scraping some of this seasoning that's on the bottom of the bowl and putting it on some of these pork chops that 
Looks like they can use a little extra. A little extra love. Because you want to make sure you taste your seasonings, you know. You want to have your meat to have some flavor. Okay, so we're going to put these in the oven for 20 minutes. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. They look pretty already. So for my scallop potatoes, I'm just going to follow the directions on the back of the box. I mean, there's nothing to show you guys about that. So I'm going to go ahead and get those in the oven as well. And I'll come back and show you guys the finished product. Here's the finished product. These are so beautiful, so tasty, and so easy to do. The scalloped potatoes only took a few minutes in the oven as well as the pork chops and your dinner is ready. This probably took me about 30, 35 minutes to prepare. Give it a try, you guys, and let me know what you think. Until next time, have a blessed day. Bye.